Fuck you, wiggle. Racist. It's because I'm white. I'd say, bro. You need it. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Everyone that's not an admin's muted now. Basically, um, the server will be going down for about 10 minutes or so. Um, finally, as promised, the uh, server will be relaunched with uh, our new script after about a month of development, beta testing, revision after revision after revision. Um, so we have did a lot. And a, in a very, very little amount of time. And, um, you know, first, I want to apologize for a few delays. There was some miscommunication. I have uh, never professed to be a scripter, so I don't know exactly what's involved. I have to go based off of what other people have told me. Um, but <clears throat> after all this time, a little under a month, we're finally ready to go. Um, the, the script will be launched. A couple of things to note. Uh, basically, what you're going to be looking at, in case you didn't go on the beta server, is the script has some noticeable differences, uh, some improvements. But for the most part, uh, the script will be a lot like what we have right now. Um, we're hoping, you know, everything will integrate just fine. We have did our testing. Uh, there will be no reset. It might take a few minutes to get everything situated. The the a lot of the updates that we originally talked about uh, will be coming over the next few weeks in the form of weekly or biweekly updates. Um, after they're scripted in, beta tested, and all that good stuff. Um, <clears throat> so. You know, like the ATMs and a, and a lot of the stuff that I posted in that very, very first post when we said, okay, you know, we're changing ownership, taking Almost over, uh, kicking ass and taking names. Um, all those stuff uh, will be coming over time. Um, let me see here. Yeah, the new SARP. You know, uh, we've already started talking. One of the things, VIP is going to be developed. Um, the LSFMD is going to actually be a faction now that can do something other than just Slash Hill. We will be adding more houses into the game. Um, we will be adding more houses. How that's going to work is there's going to be a, a, a batches of houses added at uh, each strategic zone for North America, uh, Europe, and the oceanic region. Everyone will have a chance to go out and scurry for those houses. Beyond that, houses are still going to be largely um, a donation item, which we've lowered the prices. Um, and we'll be releasing the, the new donation stuff in a special e-store here pretty quick, too. Um, house cars, you know, we the ATMs, the ability to write checks, all that stuff will be coming in the next couple of weeks. It's going to be great. Um, basically, when the, when the server goes back up, um, you guys should be able to log on with your accounts and information that you just got off of if you were on. Um, if you find any bugs near the bottom of the forms, there's the development section. There's a bug form. Right below the bug uh, form title, it says click here to submit a bug report. Um, all that stuff, you can go in there, type in your subject of generally what the bug's about, and then explain in detail what happened, when it occurred, and the server time. Uh, so slash time. Figure out so that way we're all using the same time for the developers to be able to kind of pinpoint, you know, what area they need to look at. Um, <coughs> Anyhow, uh, everything's going great. There's been a lot of changes. Uh, we have chosen the new name. At the end of this meeting here in a few minutes, the vent server will also restart. And uh, once it's restarted, you'll see our new name, which is Next Generation Gaming on the server. It'll be Next Generation Roleplay. Um, we do have plans 
in the future to expand into other games, um, which is why we went with, you know, gaming as our main community name. Um, of course, when the time comes for that, the community advisors will be out, you know, seeking the opinions and finding out what, ev uh, what else everybody likes to play. Um, the beta server was opened for basically the weekend. That went great. That was actually the cause for this last delay. You know, we had a beta server of 50 people on uh, quite a bit, so we were we were able to uncover a lot of good bugs um, that we were able to get fixed before releasing it onto our public server. If there are bugs, we just ask for your patience. Uh, one of the things that I noted in my post was now uh, bugs will be fixed within 48 hours, not six months like it used to be. Um, the other good thing is admin prison and RP prison will be separate, sort of. Admin prisoners will have the world boundaries so they can't escape. Um, that way the RP prisoners can still RP their escapes and now not have to be killed back into prison because we don't know who's who. One of those uh, silly bugs. Um, so basically, uh, is there any other admin that would like to say anything? I think that the dev team deserves a lot of props for the work they've done. I mean, they've made all this possible in a matter of weeks. It's a huge accomplishment, and it shouldn't be underestimated by anybody. It's Burritos definitely... Of around. Yeah, the big thing, and uh, I'm sorry that there are some very special people out there like Doug Wilson. Doug, are you here? I hope you are. Um, that I don't think fully appreciate the the enormity of this project. Not only were they developing a script, you know, we didn't have the SARP script um, to actually be able to work from. We had to take the Godfather script and make it what it is, and plus it had to be reverse design so that um, your player files and the apartments and houses file would also Um, so all those things would be compatible without having to manually do them. Um, so we've had a lot of success, and basically I just want to thank you guys for um, sticking with and uh, kind of seeing this time out. You know, one of the things that we can pride ourselves on is that throughout this last month, we haven't done anything underhanded to, you know, try to crash their server and make their players have a bad day. I only wish I could say the same for them with us. But each time the uh, players, you know, stood strong and waited for the server to be fixed with a backup, and we continued on. As you notice, after a while, they finally stopped. Another couple of things, because we're going to be doing our recruitment, and... Um, We're going to be doing our recruitment uh, Bring a Friend program. Uh, one of the things that I'll be doing starting on the 1st of June is allowing all the players that have been banned for issues pertaining to Marcus's new server. Um, basically, we're going to give everyone uh, a second chance. And we have been tracking the numbers very closely. And basically, without us even being on a hosted list, on an internet list, or anything, our server has actually been growing after the initial, you know, split off. Um, they're seeing a lot of problems over there, problems that we expected. 